evolution of Sperry's, an example of a product epidemic straight out of The Tipping Point by Malcolm Gladwell. Once an old man's boat shoe, they are now an essential for both Greeks and Greek wannabes alike. This epidemic leaves one pondering, where did they come from and why are they so popular? They're comfortable, yeah, that's about it. They can get wet, you don't really care if they get dirty or anything. Um, because they're comfortable and they're really casual. Because everyone said they were really comfortable and so I just got them. And they go with everything. I think they just look like a really classy shoe, you know, you can wear them with so many different things. Um, and they're really comfortable. Um, I personally, I really like the preppy look, so I think it goes well with that. I guess East Coast kind of fashion brought it here. I think everyone with their like votes that they wear them on, just like transition to wearing them on campus actually. Because well with nice clothing and so. The original Sperry Top Siders were designed in 1935 by Paul Sperry. They were the first boat shoes to be introduced into the boating market and originally sold for $4.50 a pair with the option of a peg leg discount. The patterns of grooves on the bottom make them ideal for traction on wet and slippery surfaces. The technology was inspired by none other than Paul's Cocker Spaniel Prince. Sperry's first big break occurred in the 1940s. This era saw the largest increase in sales for Sperry Top Siders, for the brand had a contract to supply shoes to the U.S. Navy. By the end of 1941, demand for their product had increased dramatically with the start of World War II. The iconic boat shoe hit the forefront of the fashion world in the early 1980s after gaining recognition in the official preppy handbook and countless John Hughes films. But by the end of the decade, the New England-based show had fallen out of style. The president of the Lexington-based Berry Company quoted, It was clearly a declining brand. That was when they were cheapening the product. They were using a lesser grade of leather, and you just can't do that. Making matters worse was the fact that no one knew how to market the shoe in the 1990s. Today, Sperry's are owned by Collective Brands Incorporated and are a part of the Performance and Lifestyle Group. As of February 2012, they use the advertising slogan, A Passion for the Sea. It is apparent living in Kansas that we are nowhere near the sea. So why does everyone love Sperry's? To analyze this Sperry's epidemic, we can use Gladwell's book, The Tipping Point, to shed light on what might have made these shoes become so popular. In his book, Gladwell mentions three contributing factors to an epidemic, or tipping point. The law of the few, the stickiness factor, and the power of context. Let's take a closer look at each of these three principles and apply them to the Sperry brand. We'll start with the law of the few. In 2008, the popular brand called Band of Outsiders debuted Sperry's during New York Fashion Week. The models wore Sperry's in addition to their California-based clothing line. Trendsetters took note that the models were in Sperry's and began to copy their look. Then there is the stickiness factor. As noted in the tipping point, just because a famous person wears something doesn't always guarantee that it will catch on. Once Sperry's took off in sales again, the company began designing all different types of shoes. In 2008, Sperry hired its first dedicated women's shoe designer, Michelle Poole, to create a line of non-boat shoes for women. The line of non-boat shoes, Enduring Style, was created specifically for the growing numbers of female topsider fans. The collection includes patent leather skimmers, sandals, and rain boots. Previously, women only made up 20% of the total Sperry Top Cider sales, whereas in today's market, that number is up to almost 60%. Now there's a Sperry for all, as the shoes come in different styles, colors, and materials to appeal to everyone's individual taste and style. The shoes would not stick with the general public if there were only one simple choice. Finally, there is the power of context. As Gladwell said in The Tipping Point, Epidemics are sensitive to the conditions and circumstances of the times and places in which they occur. 
Sometimes trends that occur are unplanned and unexplainable. Just like the example of the hush puppies in the book, the fairy epidemic was just a combination of several separate events that came together for the perfect storm. What was once considered a sailor shoe is now giving hipsters and prepsters something to agree on. After a decade of failing to reach its public, largely photographed celebrities such as Gossip Girl's Blake Lively and singers Pharrell Williams and Kanye West have been seen sporting the new hip shoes around Hollywood and New York City. In 2009, Sperry Topsider was named Brand of the Year by Footwear News. In the same year, they opened their first five retail stores, including stores in Tampa, Florida, Orlando, Florida, Boca Raton, Florida, Kansas City, Missouri, and Dallas, Texas. The following year, in 2010, they opened stores in Burlington, Massachusetts, and Westchester, New York. Sperry Topsider is the top performer among the performance and lifestyle group segment of collective brands. In 2011, the quarterly PLG wholesales increased by 21.2%. Sperry Topsider led this increase among all product lines and distribution channels. Sperry's were also the leader in PLG retail sales, which saw a net increase by 13.5% last year. Currently, Sperry Topsider sponsors sailing competitions in locations such as Key West, Seattle, Detroit, San Francisco, and New York. The company is also the proud partner and official footwear sponsor of the U.S. sailing team Alpha Graphics. Sperry Topsider has also made efforts to be a proactive member of society through their dedication and love of the sea. Sperry Topsider is the corporate sponsor of OSEARCH, a nonprofit organization that researches the ocean's giants, and the official footwear of the National Safe Boating Council. Recently, Sperry redesigned their website and introduced social media to connect with their customers. They developed a blog called Passion for the Sea, where Sperry wearers can tell the stories about their adventures in their shoes. According to Google Trends and Google Insights, the search term Sperry saw major increases around 2010. Also, they peaked in news reference volume in 2009 when they were named Brand of the Year, and again in 2010 and 2011 when they celebrated their 75th anniversary. Something made Sperry's tip that was enough for these shoes to re-enter the closets of fashionistas everywhere.